It's time for Shrine Watch! Shrine Watch is a show where Panda shows you all the birds. Yes, he does. He takes them into the game to show you how they work. Yeah, it's Shrine Watch! Hello everyone, Panda here and welcome back to Shrine Watch. Hope you're having a great week so far. Behavior seems to have accidentally triggered part of the Meet Your Maker event that should be starting on the 28th of March. That is to coincide with the release of Meet Your Maker, their new game, and there is some sort of event planned. Although at the moment, all we have is these little gen mat devices in the game. You cleanse one of these and escape, I think you get a charm. I don't know how that's going to work into the actual event, but you know, events are always good. I'm always into an event. So we'll have to see how the actual entire event works with all of its different components. I assume it's not going to just be touch a little totem thing, uh, but we'll have to see about that. The main news this week is the DDoS issue, and this has been happening for quite a long time now, but it's reared its ugly head again. Lots of streamers and content creators have been getting hit by this. A DDoS attack is where someone floods your internet with loads of packets, essentially sending so much data to your internet that it just craps itself and goes down. And loads of streamers have been having this issue, having their internet knocked out while they're live. And it's been creating a lot of problems, as you can imagine, for people both watching Twitch and YouTube and also people who are streaming on there. And this has been a problem for ages. It's been a problem in lots of games for a long time, but specifically Dead by Daylight, it has been an issue. I don't think it's ever actually been solved. Uh, and currently it's just going crazy again. So Behaviour did put out a little statement. And in the statement, they say they don't actually know how it's happening. They want people to tell them how it's happening, but they are working to try and fix it. Hotstarver made a thread of posts over on Twitter, basically warning people about this, warning streamers saying they should use VPNs, etc. And he was also getting DDoSed just by spectating custom games. So there's obviously something very wrong there if they can get your IP address from someone in a game. So basically, you know, they find a player's name, say they find uh, Sausage, and then they realize that in that game, Hotstarver was spectating, they're able to get his IP and knock him offline. That's crazy. Well, a potential fix for this does seem to be playing DVD through Epic Games. But why does that actually work? Why would that work? Well, if you go into Steam, this is unconfirmed, but if you do go into Steam and you go to settings and then you go to in-game and at the bottom we've got Steam networking. Allow games using Steam networking to share my IP address for a faster connection. If you toggle that onto never, that could help because if we click the learn more there, Steam itself says the only way to protect yourself from having your IP address shared is by using a VPN. And essentially in here, they say that there's basically nothing they can do. They're working towards a world where no one has to share their IP address, but we're not there yet. So I'm guessing if on Epic Games, this isn't happening, but on Steam, it is happening, then there must be something to do with DVD and with Steam both working in conjunction together. I don't know, but I've turned on the setting, I've put it on never, so it doesn't share my IP address. And I also streamed yesterday on Epic Games, and I didn't have any problems whatsoever. If you didn't know, you can play on Epic with your progression from Steam. You'd have to go and link the two accounts together. It's really simple, takes like a couple of minutes, and then you can just play on Epic. The only downside is that you can't change your username on Epic Games, which is upsetting because I do love changing my name all the time. Over on Dead by Daylight Mobile, the Sadako chapter was just released over there. This includes a new Mori for Sadako. We've seen loads of new Moris come in with different killers over on the mobile. I think the Plague has like six Moris or something crazy like that, which is honestly pretty cool. I wish we could get those over on PC. But here is the new Mori for Sadako over on mobile. I'll actually have a sponsored video up tomorrow on the DBD Mobile Sadako chapter and a couple more videos throughout this month. We have an image here of the maximum amount of debuffs and buffs that you can get in a game of Dead by Daylight. And look at that. And look at that. I had no idea it could go that far across the page. Obviously, you've got all the boons in there, all the killer debuffs, even a anti-hemorrhagic syringe. Literally, they've pushed it to the absolute max. Uh, and that is crazy. Obviously, that's never going to happen in a normal game. But... Uh, you know, interesting to see at least. We've got an image here from Nightlight showing the top perks for survivors and killers. This site updates from people giving them images of their end game matches. So basically just taking a bunch of data and unsurprisingly on Survivor, Dead Hard, Windows, Adrenaline, Circle of Healing. And it does seem kind of weird to me that we've got a perk with a 32% pick rate and yet it's not been touched. But Eruption, which had a 19% pick rate, has been nerfed. Eruption has obviously dropped down in the last 14 days due to the fact that Eruption was nerfed, but 
Uh, you know what? Even the most used perk on Killer, 23%, it's still 10% less than Dead Hard. Interesting. Is Pain Resonance, Call of Prime, Jolt, and Lethal Pursuer a build? It definitely is. But as they've said that every mid-chapter patch from now onwards, they're going to do a bit of a meta shake-up. They're going to try and fix some perks, change some perks to bring some variation to the game. Will all of the perks on this page actually get a little bit of a change? Try and bring some of the worst perks, maybe even the perks with like a 0% pick rate, and just bring them way up? I don't know, but I do hope so. You know, the meta shake-up perk uh, patch was cool. Uh, but it didn't really change too much in the end of the day. You know, the same perks are at the top. But apart from that, we had a little bug fix patch, which literally just fixed a bunch of bugs. The spirit was bugged. Her audio was not working right. Everyone was mad about that. That has been fixed. And a few other little tweaks. Uh, the dredge is back in the game. He's no longer kill switched. But now we have Merciless Storm kill switched itself. I don't know what the issue was, but it's off for now. I guess we'll see it come back soon. But that's pretty much it for the news. We've got some cool fan art here, though. A Maki with three concept skins for the Legion. I really, really like these. These are just beautifully done. Uh, I would happily see these in the fog. Really professionally done. And yeah, no complaints at all. I love this one with the scissors, with some little fairy lights around it. Uh, a cool sort of, you know, cyberpunky, futuristic a faceplate. Love it. Never stop slashing. Nini Rioza over on Twitter with a really cute one of Legion. Everyone just loves Legion, I swear. When it comes to fan art, Legion is absolutely a top of the thing. I think top along with like Huntress and Spirit. Uh, really cute though. And Chalco has illustrated the guard companion from the night. The three different icons for the three different guards. Uh, and they are just, it's beautifully done. Honestly, really stunning detail. Uh, bravo. And before we jump into some games, let's have a little look at the Shrine of Secrets and which perks I'm actually going to be playing with this week. Starting with Survivor, we have one of our meta perks. In fact, it's the second most picked perk. It's a Kate perk and it is Windows of Opportunity. Just straight up see all the pallets, breakable walls and vaults within 32 meters for the entire game. Not really too surprising why that's the second most picked perk. Second up, we have a Feng perk. It is Technician. This makes you quieter when you're working on a generator. Kills will have to get eight meters closer to actually hear you tinkering away on it rather than just hearing the pistons going. Also, if you fail a skill check, it does not explode, but it does regress and it regresses an extra 3%. And over on Killer, our first perk is a Huntress perk. It's a terrible perk. It's territorial imperative. If someone goes into the basement, you see their aura. As long as you're more than 32 meters away, Horrible, you know, horrible. I guess you know someone's gone into the basement, but how often are you gonna use that? Not very often at all. And our second perk is a Death Slinger perk. It is Gearhead. Every time you injure a survivor, Gearhead activates, and the next time someone hits a great skill check, you can see their aura for 10 seconds and the perk will tick around. Not a huge fan of this, but I do see how it can be useful. You know, if you're injuring people a lot and you've got your eyes open, it will help you out. So there are perks. Let's take them in some games and see if we can get some value out of them. And if you don't already, I would really appreciate if you took the top link in the description and come give me a follow over on Twitch. Okay, so seeing as Dredge is back in the mix, we can play Dredge again. Let's give Dredge a little go. We've got Gearhead, we've got Territorial, Save the Best for Last, Standard, and a bit of No Way Out for when the survivors spank my horse buttocks. Let's give it a shot. That's quite scary. All right, well, let's give it a shot. Screw it, you know? What's the worst that's gonna happen? Misery, sadness, tears. All right, bring it on. Uh, let's see, Maurice, my beautiful horse friend, do not fail me. Scratches. Okay, this is gonna be absolutely ridiculous, honestly. I can absolutely just feel the pain gliding through me. Needs to be positive. Be positive about it. We got pallets. Yeah, we got pallets. Felix. I don't like you, Felix. Ah! I gotcha. All right. Let's go. This is where it begins. This is where it begins. The beginning of the end of the beginning. Okay, right, let's see. Let's go check over here. Oh shit, absolutely everyone's here. Interesting. Uh, should we go for the near? Yeah, let's go for the near. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, I mean, damn. <laughs> what the hell? That was rough. Let's break some locks while we're here. For God's sakes. <gasps> what the fuck? Hey, stop locking my lockers. 
I got no blockers up there. Are we being trolled right now? Here we are. Yeah, we are. Okay. This is my life now. This is my life. Fuck my goddamn life. I guess we'll just go for Felix. Screw it. No lockers around. Okay, they're going for the old drop the pallets, pick them back up tactic. This is honestly the worst map. Did they burn this map? They did not. Holy shit. I'm about to just leave this game, honestly, and take the time out. Nice. All right, let's go for the Zarina. Screw it. We'll give Felix a little rest. There's not... Where the fucking bloody hell did she go? Oh, my God. I'm not ready for this. How many pallets have you got left now, Zarina? How many pallets have you got, Zarina? You've got a pallet. God damn it. But if we can eventually get to the situation where there's no pallets left, they're just going to have done all the gens, though. It's like, I can't win this. Hello. Okay, well. Two hooks. Great. They've destroyed a lot of pallets. But it's the game map, so there's literally infinite pallets. Oh, which is not ideal. Up you go. Uh, Felix is going to the more pallets, so fuck that. Gonna chase the Zarina. Or chase anyone, honestly. I'm not really too fussed. I'll hit you, because I'll get some stacks from it. There's no pallets down here. Nice. Okay. Right. Let's just chase the Felix. Screw it. I need to destroy that pallet there, honestly. Leaving any pallets up is a big mistake. Everyone's injured. That's nice. All right. We'll go for a hook here. All right. There we go. Three stacks of no way out, at least. Gearhead. Totally bloody useless. Not doing anything. Kind of not happy with that perk choice. You go on the floor. Nia. Serena. Take more stacks, honestly, on the cake. Thank you. You're just making me stronger, Kate. You're just making me stronger. There's no more pallets, Kate. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> She's got a pallet. God damn it. What? Okay. Interesting. Oh, of course she's got DS. Why did I even pick her up? I didn't mean to do that. That's a big shame. Uh, right up here. Hello. I can just kill one of these people. Honestly, I'm going to be happy because this is a bloody absolute nightmare. Pretty sure Felix can't have his dead hard back up. But. We're going to go from anyway. Come here, Felix. Is Felix dead on hook? Fucking hell. Right, eight stacks to stay the best for last. That's nice. Nine stacks. Oh, wait, it doesn't stack up to nine. Okay. Just keep it going. You never know what's going to happen. Maybe something cool will happen. I doubt it. But maybe. Oh, someone's here. Hi. Oh, Kate. Motherfucker! Okay. We're getting there. Something's happening. Apart from my sanity draining slowly from my soul. 
More hits. More stacks. Where's your pallets gone, Serena? Where's your pallets, Serena? Where's your fucking pallets, Serena? So I'm getting a little bit over excited about this. But, you know, if I can somehow manage to scrape a win out of this, I'll be happy. They're just in absolute shambles now they've destroyed all the pallets on the map. Oh, sorry, I say they've destroyed it. I've destroyed it with my superior force, force feet. Hi. Okay. I mean, what's the play here? Nice. You go on the floor. Right. It's looking okay. You're on the hook. I just need to kill that Felix. Honestly, kill the Felix. Save the day. Oh, she's dead. How lovely. Big fan of that. We've got our four stacks of No Way Out, which is awesome. Hi, Felix. Has it been a minute yet? Can I pick up Zarina? I don't know where Felix went. Has it been a minute? Let's find out. If it's not been a minute, shame on me. It's not been a minute. Shame on me. Unfortunate. Imagine being on the game and not having any pallets left, though. It's got to be a weird feeling, right? Oh, she's found a pallet. Neo when she's found a pallet. Very excited. Super weird. Uh, right, well. GG, I guess. They got their pallets. They picked them up. And they put them down again. Super weird. And annoying. Felix, I hope you like the floor. No, Felix. I know what you're thinking. Panda. Tilted. It's true. I am tilted, honestly. That was such an annoying game. Constant noise notifications. I'm going to use this opportunity to break open all my beautiful locks. My lovely lockers. Oh, do you want the hook, Felix? All right, I think I've destroyed all of the locks now. Bam. God damn survivors. That was toxic. I didn't enjoy that. All right, let's give them a GG. GG's. They're just super lucky that they got the um, the game there with the amount of bloody pallets they had. Holy crap. 223,000 blood points. What? It's going to take me like five minutes to spend. Mm, I'm going to keep this build. Lithe, awesome. Distortion, awesome. Windows, everyone else loves it. And Technician, not so great, but I do enjoy the quieter repairing. Lovely. Love this map. Well, I love this map as killer. Oh, the killer's broadcasting what they've got on their hook. Let's have a look. Hex Ruin, Devour Hope, and no, uh, Third Seal. Interesting. They're broadcasting that they're a Hex user. What could that tell me about this killer's playstyle? Uh, is it a hag, perhaps? It is a hag. Nailed it. All right. Two on heals. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sloppy Butcher. Grim. Nice. Oh, man. Steve, good job triggering that trap, man. You've just literally saved this generator. My guy. All right. God, there's so many vaults and windows and pallets around. Nice. Damn, Steve, coming in super clutch there. Okay, no barbecue and chili. Confirmed. I'm still the only one doing gens. Also confirmed. Got her. Perfect. Perfection. Mm, maybe not perfection. 
Run, Felix, run! Oh, Jake, no one's doing gents. We are not getting out of here. Okay, Jake down again. Man, we need these two gens done. If we're down to two gens left, I feel like we've actually got a little bit of a spread. But with four gens left, we are absolutely miles behind. It's going to be a double ding too. Ding, ding. Nice. Okay, that feels good. That feels okay. I'm going to get hit by a hag trap here. And I'm just going to have to accept it. She wants Jake to die here. And I will not allow it to happen, Jake. I got you, Jake. Oh, shit. I got you, Jake. Run. Run. Oh, man. That could have been seriously bad. If she had teleported there, I suppose you would have still been protected. She's coming. Look out, team. All right. How many hooks? One, two, three, four hooks. God damn it. Four hooks, three gens. No, Steve! One of them's doing the gen. Oh, here's other Jake. Absolute legend. Dude, I've got a med kit. You go do the thing. Don't come this way, please. Oh, shit. She's got pain res. All right, that Jake being chased has not been hooked yet. So, we've got potential here. Just, Jake, get the fuck away from the hook. Please. I got you. Okay, so Jake's still doing that gen. Dude, this is all going somewhat in our favor. I don't know where the three gen is. We've got one gen here. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. Keep going, Jake. I believe in you, man. God damn it. I know there's a trap here. So I need to not use it. Oh, shit! Oh, my dear God. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, no. Oh, no. She agita agitation? She's flying. Steve, don't come, don't come here, Steve. Holy shit. You're on last hook, man. Okay, apparently she didn't see Steve's scratch marks. Lucky. Dude! Steve! What the hell, my guy? Oh. Ah, GG hag. God damn it. Will my team get out? Oh, Steve's got his adrenaline. That's going to work out pretty nice for him. Boom. Steve's absolutely cruising right now. But does the killer have no one escapes death? Run, team, run. Someone go open the bloody gate. Wow, where are you going to go now, Jake? Where... Where is the gate? Oh, if he's got Bond as well. He can see them. Holy crap. This is a weird one. Take the hits. Nice, man. These guys were a great team. I really screwed up by going through that window. I literally could have had an absolutely stonker of... Don't... <laughs> Don't too bad yet, Steve. Uh, could have had a great escape. Steve... Steve. Just leave. Alright. GG's. Uh, G... G's. Well, there is Shrine Watch of the Week. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care of yourselves, and out.